Hi, hello friends. Today we are going to experiment and learn how to convert a black and white photo into a colorful and vibrant photograph. We can do this using Photoshop and with the tools of layer by by creating layers. I can do this by creating and doing with uh, brass tool and the colors just play around with colors okay and first you have to open a black and white photo in your Photoshop and set the mood in RGB color uh, or you can use MYK but in this case we are going to use RGB color okay Now we are going to start with uh, by creating a layer. We will first name the first layer as uh, background. Okay, background. Then we will first choose uh, decide a color for our background. Maybe blue. Uh, blue is good for this demonstration. Just for the sake of this demonstration, we'll use blue color using a brass tool here. Adjust our diameter, the size of our brass, maybe a little bit bigger. Don't worry because it's just color. So, and we'll set our color, our setting for layer as color. Okay? Yeah, that's it. Just brass around here. Don't worry, it's just background. Okay. Okay. So, uh, creating another layer. This time, we'll target the lying bear here. We'll just name it Bear One. You can name it. Choose a name of your own. It depends upon on what photograph you are do, uh, working with. So, we'll decide another color here. Maybe we'll use a. Uh, red here red color okay adjusting our brass uh, much smaller smaller okay so that we won't miss it. but don't worry if you cannot exactly get the exact dimension uh, the exact boundaries of your objects you can try to adjust it later okay color setting here so We'll just try to be very uh, enclose the whole object here. Okay. Okay. Just just a little bit here. So we're working within object. For just a quick demonstration, we'll do exactly not exactly as the figure is you can do with your with your more of your time but here we just do it quick quickly okay now now we'll continue on with the second beer by creating another layer, its name is uh, this time beer two. Beer two. Okay. Now we are going to choose another color here for our beer standing here. Maybe yellow, gold yellow is. Okay, gold yellow. Okay, gold yellow here. Okay, don't worry. We'll ju this is just for the sake of demonstration. Oops. Convert the setting into color, the layer color. Okay. Now we're almost done here. Reduce the size of our brass here. Okay, 
now we are almost complete we, what is left is just the uh, adjustment of our color by using hue and saturation okay you can use hue and saturation by clicking hue and saturation or control u we'll adjust our hue here with the saturation of our beer okay this looks fine now you can just play around with this tab here and once you're happy with it just click OK okay I think this looks cool now okay for the red beer do the same thing control U and adjusting a little bit here just making it looks like it's in a fantasy land you know yeah just adjusting a little bit here okay when you're fine when you're happy with it just click OK just the same thing with your background control U okay background color just adjusting here okay Okay, I like it that. Okay, now for your a little bit of uh, making it realistic, you just erase the big excess colors here that don't belong to the background, and then you're done with it. Okay, we'll just erase it. You can do it by using eraser tool or by using this this is the eraser tool uh, yeah eraser eraser tool or by just using the lasso tool if you want exactly to be exact with the uh, details here like for example uh, feeders so in the in this part here I'm gonna show you some quick uh, here quick illustration using lasso tool okay okay just do it uh, for a quick here just for a quick demonstration you can do with your much of your time you can do it more accurate but for the sake of demonstration here I'm just gonna make it quick okay and using feeder maybe two pixels is okay okay and hit delete now it's gone now we are going to work the rest without using the eraser tool okay eraser tool here increasing the size of our diameter just work very slowly here with there's excess colors but as I said, said you can you take more time with your work okay just this this is just for the sake of saving time now for the yellow okay okay yellow here So basically we are done and this is now our finished product of our color picture coming from black and white photo. Thank you and see you next time.